Hello there, welcome back to uh, U4 in France. So last time we, well, technically got a colony of our own in the New World by conquering this from Castile. Um, that's just technicality though. Uh, was actually the case as uh, something entirely different. Basically, for those of you who are a bit sure why I'm doing this, is uh, damn hiccups. Sorry. <coughs> wow. Sorry. Sorry. The reason why I'm actually trying to do this is because there's other challenges I'm doing as well as the Bed and Napoleon one. One is being having 21 subjects. Trade companies do not count, but basically colonial nations do. So I need to try and actually get as many colonial nations as possible, which is going to be kind of hard. And 1 million manpower, we're good on our way to that. 1 tenth, almost. And of course we're going to have to do some conquering here. But Novgorod has basically eaten a Muscovy, making the, in theory, a very easy target here. Sweden and Poland, uh, that's going to be a rough one. But again, Lithuania isn't under Poland, so it's going, if I can just get these two turn on each other, it's going to be a lot easier for me. But for the time being, I'm just focusing on getting rid of basic consolidating Hispania, and then we're going to consolidate Britain, then we're probably going to start beating on Norway for trying to create our colonial nations. But the funny thing here is, I can actually use these guys and just call the nations themselves, because again, I need as many small colonial nations as I can possibly create if I want 21 subjects. So. Conquering the natives, conquering the colonial nations that other people create for me, is probably going to be a pretty decent strategy. And in turn of that, I could potentially get rid of Portugal here. But uh, we'll have to deal with that as we move. Right now, I'm currently focusing on, again, the goal is actually to get the Italian region, Hispania, Britain, basically everything that's west of the Holy Roman Empire, and this sea line right here. So once I have that, then I'll start working towards it properly. But Napoleon breaking up Austria and things like that. So, uh, it still has a little bit of ways to go before I start being very mean to everything, if you will. Luca is, of course, also a target that needs to be I need to be very mean to some soon time. But it will take a little bit of time before we actually get there, hilariously enough. So, uh, for the time being, I'll, uh, I'll not do much of anything, really. I'll retreat... Yeah, excuse me. I'll retrieve my troops. Uh, I have to fight these guys again in 56. So I have 12 years to grow until I come back and maliciously murder them. I have no idea if they'll turn them into a regular vassal or if they'll end up being turned into a, co well, colonial nation, but we'll have to see. Uh, free thinkers, idea cost minus 10%. I might have to just take the admin idea set now or complete it just because of that. But again, I'm a little bit unsure how I want to handle the, the situation, so uh, we'll see. Hopefully yeah, I can uh, get my walls going, because I'm, again, I'm very, very surprised. Honestly, I'm incredibly surprised that I have not triggered a single coalition yet. It's very unlike me. And if you're, unsh if you're uncertain, just because of how peaceful this game has been, if you will, yes, this is Iron Man. Yes, this will be giving me achievement, and I haven't triggered a single collision. It might be because I've actually been taking just promises that I've claimed to, and if that's the case, then the game has been lying to me in terms of the amount of uh, of shit you're going to be given for doing something. Funnily enough, Tunisia is completely falling apart. Mamluks is taking pieces on them. Flamkim is taking pieces on them, and I'll probably take the Balearis of them then too, just to complete the the set here. Now the funny thing is, I can actually have uh, the island here, hand it back to Portugal. I think I will. I'll take a Algar for myself just to make the map look prettier. But I'll have the rest handed back to, uh, or have this handed back to uh, to uh, Portugal. So I should probably focus on that more so than anything else right now. But uh, we'll wait for the course to be constructed. Then we'll go after Naples, basically. Castile has created a new colony. How neat of them. Growth minus 180 because they're bankrupt. So poof goes the uh, the magic colony, hilariously enough. Uh, did I steal a colony that wasn't actually completed, by the way? I think I did somewhere down the line. Nope, I'm fine. For the time being, that is. Uh, but I do have some rebel issues potentially here with Flemish separatists. Seriously? Well, let's just fix that. Um... I have some problems that I need to deal with pretty soon. But it's mostly due to the fact that the Protestants here, uh, or just seal, is going to be a very big issue. So for the time being, I'll just have to have to wait. I'll be fabricating claims and, of course, get the course constructed. And then we'll go after Naples first, then Aragon, and then most likely Morocco. 
to just again consolidate land. Then we're probably going to turn to England again. The truce with we have with England runs out in 52. And again, the goal for that will be to take the Highlands, Fief, Ayrshire, just hand it back to Scotland, and probably take uh, Vesex, Cornwall, and Munster, Leinster. Just basically consolidate Ireland, make that a completely blue little island, get uh, Scotland completed. That should actually probably be my big goal here, just complete Scotland. Take the uh, four here, annex Scotland, and just work from there. I think that might actually be a very good idea. But uh, I need also to restrict the amount of, uh, of colonizers. So Holland needs to be put in its place very, very soon. Denmark is one potential way of doing that, but I have no idea if uh, Lithuania, Pomerania, and Holland. So basically, I need to piss off Norway. And to do that, I actually need to integrate Scotland. So what we're going to do is start improving relations with them. So after the next war with England, we can integrate them, fabricate them of Norway, kick Norway's ass, take its colonies, and create a new colonial nation. Everything is going, everything is going part of the plan. I'm a genius. Yes, I'm an evil genius. One more claim to fabricate on uh, on Naples, and then we'll be prepared for war. So I'll do that, and uh, we'll see what happens afterwards. Well, hilarious enough, now um, Aragon just stole back Messina and Syracuse. So I have to fabricate claims on them if I want them. And that means that, guess what? Um, three province minor here. Naples is going to get eaten. And then we're going to eat, mm, well, Aragon and Syracuse. Now, I do have claims to most of their stuff. Let's just be perfectly honest here. Aragon is going down. Luca is, will not be able to save them. Not at all. Uh, the main concern I have here is actually Castilian separatists. Because they, I have some provinces here where people are angry. I actually have a lot of them where people are angry. So I have to deal with that, uh, well, very, very soon. So I think we're just going to increase autonomy in these. Because, again, I don't need... To, I don't need the income it brings me right now. I don't need it at all. I just need peace. But the main problem is in some of these problems, I can't actually increase the autonomy. I can add it to a trade company, which is perfectly fine. That's actually what I should be doing with all of these for extra merchants, after all. Um, but yeah, that is basically the plan. And of course, this puts me in a very awkward position where I can't really get rid of the unrest. Um, but yeah. We'll have to just deal with that as we go. For the time being, though, we'll be plotting against uh, our enemies. And again, in Naples, ended up in a very, very interesting and, to be perfectly frank, shitty situation. They can't protect themselves. They're easily to easy to beat here. And again, Aragon is in the same, exact same situation on the other side. I can easily beat them. And thus, they are not a threat at all to me. I am also going to use this to my advantage here and just basically declare war on Aragon as soon as the claim has been completed. And if I can, I'm going for the annexation. If not, I'm going to take these two provinces, the island, and just start on uh, Syracuse. Again, if I end up in a collision here, it's... I'm still kind of tiptoeing, but we'll have to see. Once I go after Luca and, uh, and Savoy again, then it's going to be very interesting. But until we get to that point, uh, I'm just going to keep on doing what I have been doing. I can start uh, converting things, which is always good. That's very good. Um, Castilian separatists are still being annoying though, so I think I might have... Oh, that's going to be incredible. E expensive. Um, the funny thing is, I might as well. We might as well harsh treatment them for 200 military points. And the reason for that is because I just have so many of them. I just have such incredible amounts of military points, there's no reason not to. That is the truth of the situation, there's no reason not to. And Naples is down. Naples is mine to do with as I please, so declare war once the truce is up, which is apparently not now. When is it? 57, so I want here to prepare, which is hilarious. There we go, 9.5. Aragon and Castile is again the one, only ones that will get truly pissed by this. And again, as long as I do have. Oh, I did not think of this. Collision. Uh, or overextension, basically. I need to just allow those calls to be built before I do anything else now. And again, overextension is going to be my biggest enemy as of now. What's this? I can upgrade my government rank. Um, why not? It doesn't actually say that it will give me any negative things, so I'm empire now. What does this give me?
Empire, national manpower plus 10%, income vast plus 25, monthly autonomy change minus 0 0.05, national focus cooldown. So basically I have feudal monarchy and I'm an empire. That's interesting, that's actually very good. But yeah, that means that I have empire status, which is good, maximum prestige. So I should probably actually have waited until I was at maximum prestige before I made that piece. Uh, you know, lower limits and all. Now, the funny thing is, I can, I should probably just keep on using my Papal Influence for Prestige rather than anything else, because so far I've had shitty luck in becoming the next uh, Popal, uh, Popal, Papal Controller, so it doesn't make too much sense. I'm also making an incredible amount of money right now. Not that I'm complaining too much. Uh, but yeah, Truce with... Uh, once the Truce runs out, we're going to declare war. I don't have any provinces that are Aragonese that I'm currently coring. So I should be perfectly fine in in that regard, too. And with that said, once my truce runs out in let's see here. February. Why did my truce time was change? Didn't it say forty seven? What the Huh. It's interesting, but not very fun reading, I guess. Um, I will also be able to, I think, call these two as soon as the other calls are done, hopefully. So let's just see here what happens in terms of uh, getting rid of our extension. Although these don't actually care or count, which is interestingly enough a bonus. I can get the Sartome. Rio de la Plata is unfortunately still out of reach. But that is a fine. Kent is apparently very well trigger happy of getting a rebellious because I'm actually converting the province. So uh, we'll keep on working on that and we'll see how things turn out. But uh, February, which means that we're close to the war now on Aragon. Basically, just a tiny bit away here. There we go, 1st of March. And my claim of Saragos actually ran out. Why will this one run out? 1570. So yeah, we just need a new claim of Saragossa and then we're good to go. Scotland, uh, I can sacrifice fire legitimacy for that and I'll recall you to declare one Scotland, or sorry, declare one Aragon for me next month. There we go. Gola will be take Terrell, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that makes sense. Boom. And they're both actually castles, which is hilarious. Send you guys there. I'm going to send you guys to the island. And again, yeah, Luca should definitely be handled very easily by my vassals. Most definitely. Very easily. Where are you guys going? Bay of Napoli? Don't want to wait, perhaps. I do. Hey, you had unit movement locked on your way to the Bay of Napoli. That is bullshit. You've been cheating. Yeah, you've been cheating. But yeah, should be fine even even so. But anyways, yeah, I'm pretty sure again Austria and my friends here will deal with um, deal with Luca. Luca has a lot of, of castles though, but they're still not a, really a threat. That's not who, that's not who I want to improve relations with, not at all. What's our strength? We must always attack. I say we must always attack because I don't really have any forts that will benefit from that. Um, what I do want to do though is um, what was I supposed to do here? I can't remember what I was supposed to do, so we'll just go back and wait. Cagliari is coming to occupation, which is good. You're actually attacking us, aren't you? No negative modifiers for attacking over a river in Saragossa. That's got to be... Well... Are we lost it too? Oh, they have a five shock general. That's probably why. Damn it. Uh, Luca is powerful. I give them that. But still, they... shouldn't be. No, they're actually the same tech as me. That actually makes sense. Wow, I'm impressed. They beat me with sense rather than AI. Twisted logic, which is, again, interesting and impressive. Uh, for time being, though, I guess we'll allow the, oh, the ship or oh, the troops to recover, and then we'll see what happens in terms of battle provost. 
I actually need a new military general, so let's make one. Uh, let's join up with these two forces, and we'll go and challenge the guys in Saragossa. Hopefully we beat them. And again, as you see, we have allies sieging, so I'm pretty sure that I can get rid of them pretty quickly. And that is going to be the important part here, just kick them out. Of course, I do get a negative modifier when they did not, so that's how you know we are on the same page. But uh, for now, we'll just go back to sieging. I think I'll be fine, because this army will have to return to Luca. And it's going to get us all handed to it there by my friends. So I'm perfectly content with uh, what's currently happening. And I'm also pretty sure that I can, hopefully, very, very soon, get uh, the war operations that I need from Luca. But we'll continue this war next time. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, uh, praise, criticism, anything you feel like. And I'll see you around next time. Bye.